armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot is a type of kinetic energy penetrator ammunition used to attack modern vehicle armor. As an armament for main battle tanks, it succeeds armor-piercing discarding sabot ammunition, which is still used in small and medium caliber weapon systems. History Armor-piercing discarding sabot was initially the main design of the kinetic energy penetrator. The logical progression was to make the shot longer and thinner to concentrate the kinetic energy in a smaller area. However, a long, thin rod is aerodynamically unstable, it tends to tumble in flight and is less accurate. Traditionally, rounds were given stability in flight from the rifling of the gun barrel, which imparts a spin to the round. Up to a certain limit, this is effective, but once the projectile's length is more than six or seven times its diameter, rifling becomes less effective. Adding fins like the fletching of an arrow to the base gives the round stability. The spin from rifling decreases the effective penetration of these rounds and so they are generally fired from smooth ball guns. A practice that has been taken up for tank guns by China, Israel, Italy, Japan, France, Germany, Turkey, Russia, and the United States. Another reason for the use of smooth bore guns is that shaped charge heat munitions lose much of their effect when rotating. APFSDS can still be fired from rifled guns, but the sabot is of a modified design incorporating bearings to isolate the spin of the sabot in the barrel from the round itself. So far as practicable, rifled guns have been kept in use by some nations because they are able to fire other ammunition, such as Hesh rounds, with greater accuracy. However, the rifling wears down under regular APFSDS use and requires more maintenance. Design. KE penetrators for modern tanks are commonly 2 to 3 cm in diameter and 50 to 60 cm long, as more modern penetrators are developed. The length tends to increase and the diameter to decrease. However, the development of heavy forms of reactive armor, which were designed to shear long rod penetrators, has prompted the reversal of this trend in the newest U. S rounds. To maximize the amount of kinetic energy released on the target, the penetrator must be made of a dense material, such as tungsten carbide or depleted uranium alloy. The hardness of the penetrator is of less importance, but is still a factor as abrasion is a major component of the penetrator defeat mechanism. As do is itself not particularly hard, it is alloyed with nickel, zinc, or both. Do is pyrophoric. The heated fragments of the penetrator ignite after impact on contact with air, setting fire to fuel and or ammunition in the target vehicle, thereby compensating for the lack of an explosive warhead in the penetrator. Additionally, do penetrators exhibit significant adiabatic shear band formation. A common misconception is that, during impact, fractures along these bands cause the tip of the penetrator to continuously shed material, maintaining the tip's conical shape, whereas other materials such as unjacketed tungsten tend to deform into a less effective rounded profile, an effect called mushrooming. Actually, the formation of adiabatic shear bands means that the sides of the mushroom tend to break away earlier, leading to a smaller head on impact, though it will still be significantly mushroomed. Tests have shown that the whole board by a do projectile is of a narrower diameter than for a similar tungsten projectile. Typical velocities of APFSDS rounds vary between manufacturers and muzzle length types. As a typical example, the American General Dynamics QA1 has a muzzle velocity of 1740 meters per second. This compares to 914 meters per second for a typical rifle round.
APFSDS rounds generally operate in the range of 1,400 to 1,900 meters per second. The Sabbats also travel at such a high velocity that, on separation, they may continue for many hundreds of meters at speeds that can be lethal to troops and damaging to light vehicles. The counterpart of APFSDS in rifle ammunition is the Sabbated Flechette, a rifle firing flechette. The special purpose individual weapon was under development for the U.S. Army, but the project was abandoned.